I'll be showing you how you can add a sticky add to cart button to your Shopify store. So the app we'll be using here is called Uplinky. There is a completely free plan available. It's gonna give you a fully automatic one-click install and it's gonna be mobile and desktop responsive. This will be the app we'll be using. I have no affiliation with this app, but it does have a nice free plan. So you can find it in the Shopify app store. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. But once you're on this page, hit add app and then you'll be brought to the installation screen. If you're comfortable with the permissions, hit install app and we'll go through the installation sequence together so we can get this set up on your Shopify store. So to start, we'll select our plan and we'll go with the free one here for starter sites. And you are gonna get unlimited visitors. So from here, we'll be brought to the settings page and we'll be automatically directed to the settings section so we can get this enabled. Let's go through the settings one by one. I'll leave this displayed on all devices. I'll leave a bounce animation just to make it more visible. You can see the preview in the right. I put location on the bottom of the screen. I'll turn on Google Analytics and I'll have this display on just the product pages. I don't want it on the home page. I'm going to leave this disabled here. I'm going to have this displaying when the visitor also scrolls by the add to cart button. You can get customization on this so you can set this to whatever you feel you want this to show. I'll move over to style. I'm going to leave it as automatically picking color and size as this is going to match my Shopify theme, which has a grayish black button. We're not going to edit any custom CSS. And I'll just leave this as normal. You can also go direct or sticky only. I'm going to leave this disabled as well. I'm going to go back to general here and I'm just going to go to enable. And this should enable this on our Shopify store as the changes are saved. Let's head back to our Shopify dashboard and I'll go to online store on the left. Hovering over that will give me this eye icon where I can view my online store. I'll click that to get a preview of how everything looks. So from my homepage, let's navigate to this product here and I'll scroll down. I'm gonna exit out of this bar at the bottom, but I can see my add to cart button there. I can see it bouncing. Now to make a quick edit, I'm just gonna make this much darker as I do find it a little hard to see. I'm gonna disable automatically pick color and size, set this to black, hit save. I'm gonna have this display at the top as well as it's a little confusing with the Shopify preview bar just for the purposes of this video. I'm gonna hit save at the bottom. I'm gonna go back to the product, scroll down past the add to cart button here, and there we can see our sticky add to cart at the top. And if I click it, I can see the item has been added to my cart and it's also bouncing based on the animation I set. So just like that, I've added a sticky add to cart to my Shopify store. I think that's a great feature, and the fact that it's completely free is super awesome as well. Before we go, I wanna mention our sponsor, Profit Calc, as if you've made any sales on your Shopify store, you know how hard it is to keep track of your store's profit. There's a lot of cost to consider, and so using a spreadsheet can be very time consuming. But with Profit Calc, you can just select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations in just one click. It's gonna give you a variety of different details and analytics and metrics so you can understand how your store is truly performing and you can make smarter business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok. And you can find it on the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below so you can access the Shopify app listing directly and you can get a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So this is going to conclude the video here on how to add a sticky card button to your Shopify store. In this video, we used a completely free app, making it super easy to set up as well. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. I come up with videos just about every day covering different Shopify tutorials, answering what I hope is just about every question about Shopify out there. So make sure you check out the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.